Hey everyone, I'm Nadia from the Cognito Forms team. In this video, we're going to run through the basics of managing your Cognito Forms account and organizations. Let's get started. The first thing you'll want to do is, of course, sign up for an account if you haven't already. If you do have an account, go ahead and sign in. If you're having trouble signing in, just click the Forget Your Password link and you can reset your password through your email. When you first sign up for Cognito Forms, you create your first account and your first organization. It's important to remember that your account is separate from your organization. To manage your account, just find your name in the top right hand corner of any page and select My Account. From here, you can manage your account profile. Click Edit to update your name, email address, or change your password. You also see a list of all the organizations that you're currently a member of. Finally, at the bottom, you'll have the option to delete your account. Now, as I mentioned earlier, your account and organization are not the same thing. So while selecting this option will delete your account, it will not delete your organization unless you're the only owner of that organization left. If you're not the only owner, your account will be deleted, but that organization will not. Speaking of organizations, Cognitiforms supports multiple organizations per single account, and each org has its own separate billing plan. As you can see, I'm currently a member of two different orgs. You can click the gear icon next to the organization name or in the top right hand corner to access your organization settings. Here, if you're an owner, you can edit the organization name in the general settings. Your organization name appears in the URL to all your forms. You can change the name at any time, but keep in mind that doing so will change the URL to your forms as well. You can also edit the default reply to email address. This email address is used automatically when you set up notification or confirmation emails on your forms. Next, in the plan section, you can see everything related to your subscription plan, including the plan level, your credit balance, and your billing history. If you're on the free individual plan, you can also sign up for a plan here. Depending on your plan level, you'll have the option to add both HIPAA and GDPR compliance to your forms. This section is also where you can keep track of your organization's monthly usage. Your limits vary depending on your plan level and they reset every month. However, your organization's storage capacity does not reset. Usually most of your organization's storage is comprised of files attached to the form via the file upload field. If you find yourself short on storage space, you can open up those entries on the entries page and click the trash can icon to delete those files and free up some room. If you do happen to exceed either your entry or storage limits, Cognito Forms won't prevent new entries from being created or new files from being uploaded. However, you won't be able to view those entries or files until you either clear up some space or upgrade to a plan that provides sufficient storage. Next, if you'd like to save some money in your subscription plan, you can participate in our referral program. Essentially, when you refer an organization to Cognito Forms, and they in turn create an account and sign up for a paid subscription, you'll receive 20% of the amount they pay for their plan every month. For example, if the organization you refer signs up for the team plan, you'll receive 20% of their monthly $24 subscription payments for up to a year. From here, you can copy the referral link, send the link in an email, or share the link on Facebook and Twitter. Next is the billing information section. Owners of an organization can update billing information at any time by simply clicking the edit button and updating your billing details. This updated information will be used the next time an invoice needs to be paid. Underneath your billing information, you can view a list of organization users. Once you've upgraded from the free individual plan, you have the ability to add new users to your organization. On the enterprise plan, for example, you can add up to 50 users to your org. Once you exceed that limit, your org will be charged an additional $2 per user per month. However, you won't be charged until a user accepts their invitation. To add a new user to your plan, just click the Invite User button. Then enter the user's email address and select their permission level. When it comes to permission levels, you can assign a global permission such as Owner or Administrator, 
or you can assign permissions on a form by form or even folder by folder basis. I'd recommend checking out our user permission levels help topic for more information about setting your permission levels. In the meantime, if you're unsure about which level to select, either the reviewer or none permission levels will allow users to log in but not be able to make any changes to forms or form entries. Once you select invite, the invited user will receive an email asking them to join the organization. At this point, their email will appear on the users list. Selecting their email will open their profile page, where you have the option to resend their invitation, copy the direct invitation link, and change their global permission level. Next, under default location, you can edit the country, language, currency, and time zone settings for your org. Cognito Forms supports the localization of all of our forms, including over 20 languages and 121 countries for dates and times. When you register for an account, we use your IP address to determine which country you're in, and your forms are defaulted to the official language and currency of that country. We also attempt to determine your time zone based on information we get from your browser. The language and currency settings affect what appears on the form. All field labels, error messages, and other fixed text will appear in the set language of your form, and any monetary amounts will be displayed in the set currency. Dates will also appear in the standard format of your selected country. The time zone ensures that you see activity in your exported and emailed entries as if they occurred in your own time zone. Finally, at the very bottom of the page, you have the option to either leave or delete your organization. Because I'm the only owner of this org, selecting this option will delete the organization along with all of its associated forms and entry data. On the other hand, if I'm not the only owner left, I can choose to simply leave the org without deleting it. If you have any questions about managing your Cognito Forms account, organization, or users, be sure to get in touch with us at hello at cognitoforums.com.